Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. It is a very pretty Saturday outside. What am I doing? I'm inside pouring resin. I was not happy with the way yesterday's turned out. Okay, I will show you the dried result, but resin's going to do what resin wants to do. Um, what happened was, was it pouring it all into one cup, it got muddy. So I wasn't happy with that. So I'm doing the same colors, the same six colors in the white. The white's going to be the uh, Rust-Oleum Gloss Right, uh, what do they call it, uh, Protective Enamel. Okay. And I'm going to use the same colander. You can see that the, the resin dried a little bit in it, but that's okay. Because the holes are not plugged. So that's all that matters to me is that the holes aren't plugged and I can reuse it. I don't know how many times I'll be able to use it. But I did not remember to wipe it out yesterday like I should have. After the video was over. I thought draining would work and it didn't. Oh. Well, we live and learn. It was just a very cheap colander. Okay, um, I'm trying to make sure I have enough. Those are all the mica powders I did yesterday. Um, starting from the top up there, it's uh, synthetic green. Going across next to it is synthetic violet. Um, synthetic blue, red Maryland, uh, synthetic orange, and synthetic yellow. Okay, I get those from uh, a place called Just Pigments. They're, oh, I want to say Tucson. They're out of Arizona. Um, they're not that hard to find. Okay, I left a little bit. Well, wait a minute. I want a little bit more white. I'm just going to do straight pouring it into the colander and see how it works. Oops. Don't need those cups, do I? Okay. I already shook this up. I had a stick out. There it is. I'm going to try not to wipe my thumb my thumb through this. Okay, let me put that off to the side cuz I want while I'm stirring all these, I want to get some um resin down. Cuz resin needs resin to glide across. So, I'm just trying to get some uh, clear down to help it when I when it comes out of the colander. Okay, I'm going to scrape. I got quite a bit on my stick. I know it looks like a big stick, but I'm going to tell you something. I went to go buy the, the big tongue depressors at Walmart and grabbed the wrong ones and got the very, very big ones. Okay. Don't need... I only got maybe an ounce and a half, maybe two ounces in here. So I'm just going to do just a little bit of the tint. And that's enough. Because I don't need it to be opaque. I just wanted to try to create some effects. So, and less is more. If I don't think it's opaque enough, I'll go through the trouble of opening the can again and putting some more in with a clean stick. But, you can't see the stick through it, so it looks like it's opaque enough. I got my cup on top of that. Uh, draining to get the last of the clear resin out of it because resin is too expensive to waste wouldn't you agree and especially the stone coat countertop art coat resin it's the best I have ever found but the thing is is um, it's also pretty expensive too but you get what you pay for is what I always say okay there's my green. It's got a luster to it. Um, I think all of these have a luster to them. Um, they're just called synthetic. They're used in makeup. That's what they normally sell them for, but they also say that they can be used in resin. So that's why I started buying them from them. And uh, I like buying their sample packs. You can get a couple of different. Um, um, paintings out of out of a sample pack 
sample pack I think was I want to say 650 don't quote me I mean you know don't don't quote me if I'm if I'm wrong but um oh that red Maryland looks very very pretty and um so I'm just gonna try this again um I'll link her channel below I'm trying to recreate an effect that Molly's artistry did now I don't know if I can with resin because she uses to get her effect she uses a a, a different uh pouring medium it's a uh, see you'll have to go to her channel to see because I don't do a lot of acrylics anymore I fell in love with resin but they always say that <laughs> Acrylic pouring is the gateway drug to, to to resin pouring. Once you go back to once you go to resin, you'll never go back. And I haven't really done any acrylic since I started resining. And I've just been I started this channel to teach people. Um, see, on each of these colors, because there was some of the pigment on the stick, the powder stuck to it. I scrape it off at the top, and then I can get it down in there. Oh, that's a pretty color. Okay, now that looks like that is enough. So let me get my stick in there. What you want to do is, is you want to put your stick up against the side and let it dry there. And then when you go to pull the uh, stick out tomorrow after it dries, 99% of the resin comes out. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up just a little bit, just enough to, to make it easier to push around, and I'm going to push it all over. You always want to blow your heat gun off to the side, away from the resin in the piece, for about five seconds, which is how long it takes me to tell you this, because you want to blow the dust out of it. I call it blowing out the dust boogers. Okay, that, enough of that. I got rid of my dust boogers. I just wanted to heat it up enough to um, to get it a little bit uh, liquid. Now you don't have to worry about the sides because the um, the it's a, this is a record album. It's so thin I don't worry about the sides. I'm just trying to uh, push it up to the edge and make sure that the whole thing is covered. Okay. Scrape the excess off of my fingers because I don't want anything. Oops, I see a little dry, dry spot right there and right there. Well, resin is self leveling. Okay, here is my colander. I want to make sure I'm putting it right in the middle. Okay, now. I'm going to do the colors and then a little bit of white and if I don't do all the colors the first time I might do them a second time. And I wanted to start, I'm going to start with the lightest which is the yellow and I'm just going to do a little ring around here. You don't need, you don't need much. It'll the next resin will push that out so don't worry about it so I got about an ounce an ounce and a half in each cup so I'm pouring about oh three quarters to a half of an ounce of each color okay that's the orange I don't see it peeking out yet but I don't have that much resin in there yet Because resin likes to muddy in the cup. That's why that dirty pour, which I will show you that at the end. Um, I'm trying to remember to do my, um, to do at the end of this video, the dried result from yesterday. And I will also, I see something, what is that? I have no idea what that is, so let me get rid of it. Okay, now I'm doing the blue. 
Um, anyway, I'm trying to remember to do that at the uh, at the uh, end of each video. Okay, now I don't want to put the green next to the blue. I want to put the purple there. Okay, now I'm doing the purple. I'm just giving it a nice, even little coat right there. And I can see the orange and the red. I wish I had a third camera. I'm, I'm planning on getting one because I'd like to, to do it to where you can see right here. Um, one of my favorite artists online uh, on YouTube has a third camera they named uh, Lucy. And so I want to get a third camera to put it off to the side on a little tripod. And I'm going to name it Ethel. Fitting, right? I know. I know. Don't quit my day job. Don't quit my day job and become a comedian, right? Okay, now I'm going to do a nice healthy layer of white. I want to cover the whole thing. Now I'm going to go back in there. I see it coming out. I see it coming out. Okay, now I don't know if I want to see. I don't know if I'm going to do do all of it or just do a nice yeah I didn't use all of it some of these cups may have had more than a um, more than an ounce in there you know like closer to an ounce and a half maybe even two ounces so I may have enough left for um, for our uh, um, coasters okay that's my orange that's a uh, synthetic orange and that other one is synthetic yellow Sorry that this is taking so long, but I wanted to do this again with the same colors I did yesterday. Oh, I see the white coming out now. Okay, uh, blue, blue. And in case you're wondering, I learned this little trick from A and D More Art. Um, put your cups in a little uh, tin, a muffin tin, you know, because um, it's just it's just the right size. Um, the openings for the three ounce cups or the five ounce cups and I don't knock them over and that's a big waste of resin when I do that okay I don't have much green left uh, nope purples next I can hear everybody I can hear you all screaming purple purple not green I can hear you and I caught myself okay here's some purple I hope you can can you see it yeah you can see some of it you can see some of it and then I'm going to top it off with a uh, with a nice healthy layer of white and then oh, that was all she wrote on the green let me move this guy over I'm going to do a nice little layer of white over it now what I saw her do, and I don't know if the resin's going to do it the way hers did. Okay, I'm letting it all come out. And then what you do is, yeah, I can see it's a little uneven. Okay, I got to stand up for this. Because what she does is, is she picks it up slowly and lets it drain right in, in, in its spot. And I think that I think that draining is what does the little star effect. And well, didn't quite get the star, but and first thing I want to do is I want to get it back over here. Okay, let me get my heat gun just to give it some heat. I'm going to have to remember to wipe that out after the video is over. Okay. I've already blown my dust boogers out, so here goes. Uh, let me move my white over here so I don't put any heat on it. I'm just going over it, giving it some heat so it'll move around. And hopefully popping all the bubbles I thought I yeah I see something I see something that doesn't belong there so 
out, out damn piece. It's not dust. I don't know what it is. Okay, the resin's heated up. I'm just going to do a little bit of tilting. I just want to stretch it out. I don't want to lose my, my, my sides. Because I think that's real pretty. Okay. You know what I need? I need a little bit of resin right here to help that along. Because I do have a dry spot. Okay, let me wipe my fingers off. I can hear it dripping. Okay, I do want to get it all the way to the edge. There we go. Oops, I'm losing my lines. But you know what? You get those real pretty lines, and when you're tilting, you lose them. Because resin does not stay in one place like acrylics does. I want to cover up that white right there. Okay, you know what? That's going to be all she wrote. I think it turned out a lot, lot better than the one yesterday. It doesn't look so muddy. So, there's your tip for the day. If you want to do an acrylic type pour technique. Hang on, i got to pull my chair up. Um, an acrylic type pour in resin, you don't want to... Um, you don't want to um, um, do a dirty pour. The colors stay so much prettier. I didn't get her effects, but you know what? I think her effects... I'm not happy with that. I don't know why I got such a big piece of white right there. But it is what it is, okay? I'm happy with the, whole, with the overall whole thing of the rest of it. Oh, I know what that was. Well, it's upside down. That's okay. Um, a cup was stuck to the bottom. So, um, I'm just going to pour off what I have onto some coasters. So, I'm not going to bore you with that. But I am going to tell you that I thank you all for coming in and watching me. I think this is, it looks lopsided. Let me see if I can... See it? I don't know what to do about that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna end the video with a close up of this. I'm gonna hold it up, and um, and then I'm also gonna show you the dried piece. I'm trying to make sure I have nothing on my fingers when I hold it. Well, I'll hold up the dried piece. So listen, I want to thank y'all for coming in and watching. I appreciate all my subscribers my new subscribers and just my viewers I love the resin right out of you guys okay um, so um, click the uh, little bell for notifications so that way you know when I when I put up a new video and I do a lot of experimenting so um, let me let me uh, show you this first there was a big air bubble so I'm gonna have to sand it so here's the piece from yesterday. I'm trying to keep the glare off of it. It shifted badly. So it is what it is, you know. I'm going to try to make sure this one doesn't shift. So here is, come on, let go of the cup. Here is this piece. So thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Love the resin right out of you guys. And... Bye for now.